everybody, it's Claudia. So as you can see by the title below, I'm doing a spring makeup look today. This was actually requested by a few of you when I wore this look in a few videos ago. Is that right English? I think it is. And I really wanted to do this makeup look. I've been wearing this type of look a lot lately, which is just kind of, in my opinion, a brighter cheek, some fresh looking dewy skin, pretty neutral, but still kind of eye catching eye, big lashes, and a bold lip. Also, if you want to see a list of products and everything I will be using in this video, click the first link in the down bar. It will take you to the blog post I wrote accompanying this video so you can read and get some links to these products if you want to buy them or try them out for yourself. So if you want to see how to create this makeup tutorial, then keep watching. So starting off with a bare face, I'm going to be taking my Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I am obsessed with this stuff. I believe I've used this in a tutorial before. But all you need is just a little amount on your finger. I just rub my two fingers together and prime my eyes because I feel like if I don't do this at the very first thing, I totally forget and then by lunchtime I have creases in my eyeshadow and no one wants that when you work that hard on your eyeshadow. The second thing I like to do with my makeup, um, I like to get my brows out of the way as well just because I feel like once they're done, they're done and I don't have to worry about them. Um, and I use the Benefit Give Me Brow which has a little spoolie in the end of it that I just run through my brows. And I find the shapes and defines everything really nicely as well because my eyebrows can be a little unruly. And as you can tell, it actually makes a huge difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. So now that the brows are done, I'm going to move on to my eyes because in this tutorial, I'm going to be using some shadows that could potentially have a little bit of fallout and I don't really wanna do all my face makeup and then have to redo it because of fallout. So the first thing I'm starting with with my eyes is this new, to me anyway, Marc Jacobs Twinkle Pop pen in the color Honey Bunny. And this is just a beautiful, like metallic, you guys will see in a second, but it is something else. So I'm gonna put that all over my lids, but it is just a beautiful shimmery kind of white snow color almost. I'm taking it all over the lid and a little bit into the corner of my eye as well. And you could definitely totally stop there for eyeshadow, but I am going to make this, amp this look up just a smidge, but I would totally have worn this by itself and it's beautiful and it's just so easy. And I want one of these in every color except they're really expensive, so. That's probably not gonna happen. Are you guys like that too? When you have one thing in like one color, you love it and you're like, I need this in every color. That's what I'm like. Now I'm going to be taking my Stila Eyes of the Window to the Spirit palette and I'm going to be taking the top color, which is Kitten, which is a very popular Stila eyeshadow and taking just a flat shader brush with that, tapping off excess and popping that all over where we just placed the Marc Jacobs stick. And I find that this just really amplifies the color and helps it from not kind of sliding around on you. And again, we're putting this all over the lid. I don't know why I said all like that, but I did. And it just adds a little bit of extra. And I'm gonna do that on the other eye. I also find this smooths out the like metallicness of the Marc Jacobs pen because it is so metallic, sometimes it doesn't go on as smooth as I probably would prefer it to. So now we've got these shimmery, beautiful eyelids that I'm pretty much kind of obsessed with. And then taking this same brush, I'm going to go in with the color. I think it's called Go Lightly and it's just this green color. It's like a kind of muted, greeny, shimmery, taupey color. And I'm really gonna concentrate that on the tip of my brush. And then I'm just going to go in along my lash line on the outer corner and then pull it kind of up just to add a little bit of depth to this look. I'm a big fan of blending with my finger, so don't be afraid to do that either. And this is why we don't have concealer on, because you kind of can mush it in, and if you get a little bit over here, it's not that big of a deal. So then, now we have a bit of a smoky eye going on, but it's still really quite natural, and it's great for spring because I feel like this hunter green is quite like a color this year, I guess. I'm really into it, and I think it's a beautiful color, and I think it also looks beautiful on the eye. Because it does have that little bit of shimmer in it, I feel like it really complements what we already have on the eyelid. And that for me is the finished eye look. So now to finish off the eyes, just because I feel like it looks weird to look at someone without mascara on with the rest of their eye shadow finished, I'm going to be using the Benefit Roller Lash. This has become one of my new favorite mascaras. I'm obsessed with it. I think it lengthens beautifully. I feel like it clumps a little bit much for my kind of liking, 
but overall I really really like this mascara I highly recommend it and it's kind of become a new favorite so I'm going to coat my top and bottom lashes with this guy so I feel like the difference with mascara to the one without mascara is quite big so I did want to show you guys this before I go on and do the other eye because this mascara is really quite great in my opinion so let's go do the other eye all right so eyes are completely done now it is time to move on to the rest of the face and I'm going to start off with concealer I know that's probably not the way you're supposed to do it and I know that everyone else kind of does it the opposite way but I like to kind of conceal everything and because I used to use powder as my foundation I would then set my concealer and do foundation all at the same time so I've kind of gotten in, into that habit so I do my concealer first whatever way you want to do it is up to you but I use the NARS creamy concealer and I'm in the color light one the lightest one there is and I definitely need a new tube of this but it's like a $35 I was gonna call it a foundation but it's a concealer and I'm gonna use it up totally so I like to do like under my eyes I'm gonna grab a mirror it's not easy in the viewfinder everyone makes it look so easy it's not that easy all right I got a mirror this is a lot easier and then I do it under my eyes and then anywhere else I know that I have like a problem which because I used to have quite bad acne and I just had a pretty bad hormonal breakout is quite a lot of places as you can see so we just cover up that <laughs> cover up what needs to be covered up and I've been kind of switching between what I use for my concealer I've been switching between a brush and a beauty blender and I was using the little like mini beauty blender recently and I was liking that like well enough but I kind of find that a brush Sometimes especially under the eyes and to get into those little crevices is way easier And I found that the little beauty blender is really hard for me to like hold on to just because it's so tiny So that's something to take into consideration, but I think it's a pretty good Product I just haven't fully figured out how to use it yet. I don't think so. I'm using this real technique techniques real text techniques I really can't talk today real technique brush from real techniques obviously and it is the essential foundation brush, which we're using for concealer. So, you know, it is what it is. And then I just like to blend everything else in. So I'm now using a brand new foundation. I have recently made the switch from, like I said, the powder foundation, which was the Studio Fix from MAC, to a an actual liquid foundation. And this is a completely different finish than the matte Studio Fix. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Again, I'm in light one Siberia or whatever. I do find you have to give this guy a little bit of a shake because it's a bit of a liquidy foundation. But I feel like for spring, it's a really nice kind of coverage and feel and I'm just, really into like a more dewy kind of glow for spring. I'm going to be taking a little bit on the back of my hand and a Sephora brush. This doesn't have a name. It came in like a group package. And I'm just gonna dot this on my face. And then buff it in. And I really like this brush with it because it's like a flat topped dome brush. And I find that it really buffs everything into the skin. Especially if I'm doing a bit of a circular motion. I find it works really quite well I also feel like this brush fits my face really well I know that's like a weird thing to say but I find that it fits kind of all the spaces on my face really nicely And then I'm going to use my Mac mineralized skin finish in again light just to buff all over my face and Set everything in place if I want a bit of an extra coverage like I do today I'm just going to use the exact same brush that I just used for my foundation and kind of take the powder and just buff it in and press it in as opposed to swipe it on because I find that because I'm a little more oily this technique works a little bit better for me and I find that this sets everything really really nicely I like to do my bronzer before my brush just to kind of carve out my face and where I want kind of everything to be sitting for the day and I'm using the Amber Nectar Milani Illuminating Face Powder is the number 01 and I'm taking from the same Sephora kind of kit a brush that is an angle brush. I'm just gonna really, really concentrate it by my ear. Bring a little bit along the jawline, just a smidge up there. Already makes a difference, I think. It totally warms up the face. I love that it's got a little bit of a peach in there. I think that really makes a difference. I'm gonna be taking another Milani cheek product. This is the Baked Blush in 01 Dolce Pink, and I'm taking it with a MAC 187 brush. Just do a little swirl. 
this blush is way more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. All right, so this is happens to me pretty much on like a daily basis because I'm so light that I find with blushes it can definitely happen like this very fast when you want more of this glowy, subtle side as opposed to this. So I'm just gonna go back in with my powder duo real quick, get a little bit of a dusting and run it over the blush. So this is gonna help blend everything together, but it's also gonna help it kind of look like you're glowing from within, which is what the other side is doing. And you have a bit of a glow as opposed to a streak of blush. I'm going to be taking a Everlasting Liquid Lipstick from Kat Von D in the color Berlin. It's a beautiful like watermelon tone, and I think it's really, really great for summer. I also am absolutely obsessed with this formula. It doesn't budge anywhere. I filmed a video with it. I've eaten with it. I drank with it. I did everything you possibly can with it and it stayed. So it's amazing. Super, super impressed with this lipstick. It's a really pretty color for spring and I just love it. I'll finish everything off and set everything in place to still give that dewy look. I'm using my MAC Fix Plus spray. This is just a little mini guy. And that just kind of sets everything in place, but because it has the glycerin in it, it is still going to give you a dewy look. So that is it for today's spring makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, definitely hit the subscribe button so you're alerted whenever I do put up new videos, which is Mondays and Thursdays. Leave me a comment also below if you have any other requests for either makeup tutorials or some sort of spring related video. I'd love to know what you guys want to see from me. And I think that's going to be it. I hope you guys have a great rest rest of your day or weekend or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you on Monday with a new music video. Bye!